Hello, I'm Neil Phillips, and this is the first of hopefully many Dragonfly Tour videos I'll be doing this year. It's January the 1st, 2022, and I'm here in a slightly breezy South Essex Reserve. It's run by the RSVB, and it's one of the best sites in the country for scarce emerald damselfly, and more recently, southern migrant hawker and southern emerald damselfly. We'll talk a bit more about this site in a minute, but I want to go back inside and we'll talk about the Dragonfly Tour and who I am. Okay, welcome into the Pond Man Shed. I should imagine we'll be in here a few times in these videos. It's in my garden, it's in a town, so you might hear some traffic noise going past. But let's get on to a couple of questions we need to cover before we go any further. So, who am I? Right, so my name, Neil Phillips. I'm an environmental educator in my day job. I'm also a wildlife photographer. Now, some of you might know me as Pond Man, which is a nickname that's stuck from uh, work, and I'll explain that in another episode, I think. I've got Pond Man account and on Facebook and social media generally. Uh, UK Wildlife account you might know me from, but also from the UK Wildlife podcast, which I'm co-host with the lovely Victoria Hillman. But those of you that record dragonflies, or I remember the BDS, might know me as the Essex Dragonfly Recorder, which sort of gives away my interest in this subject. So, the Dragonfly Tour, what is it? Well, the plan is to see every species of dragonfly that breeds in the UK in one year. Might be a bit of an ask, but I think it's quite doable, especially for someone like me that lives in Essex and can reach a lot of them in a day trip. I'm gonna go into the details of that in another episode. And I'm also gonna cover sort of equipment and books I'm gonna be using. But for now, let's head back to Vangewick and my look for some nymphs. So you may quite rightly be wondering, why am I looking for dragonflies in the middle of winter? Well, funny enough, yesterday one was actually seen on the Isles of Scilly, a vagrant emperor, but it'd be a bit optimistic to hope for one here in Essex, especially at this time of year. But I can find dragonflies another way. In fact, all the dragonflies I'm gonna see in summer are already here. Some of them are eggs, but many of them will be nymphs, or sometimes referred to as larva. Now these nymphs are aquatic, so you can find them in rivers, streams, and ponds. So I've come to this pond here. It's actually a temporary pond. So a few months ago, there was no water whatsoever in here, just a bit of dry mud. The winter rain has filled up the pond and the species I'm gonna be looking for, scarce emerald and southern emerald, are known to hatch sometimes in December. So I'm gonna have a quick look around in here and see if we can find any. So I'm just getting my kit out. It's all been cleaned. It might look a bit uh, scruffy, but it's well used. Uh, get me net, which has these rather excellent attachable poles for adjustable length. I've got a tray. And we'll go see what we can find. Well, I think it's fair to say that was not my most productive pond dip. But I did find this cool little diving beetle, which I'm pretty sure is Agabus species. And that will be a predator of small dragonfly nymphs so, uh, and damselfly nymphs. But yeah, we'll move on to another pond and see what we can find. Right, I've moved on to another spot now. This is a bit of a ditch that gets deeper and shallower as it goes along, so it dries out at different rates. And this is the spot that I found Southern Emerald Damselfly the last two years. So let's have a look, see what we can find. <laughs> Excellent. Not dragon or damselfly nymphs, but we found some ostracods, which are tiny little bivalved crustaceans. Excellent, always nice to find those. Oh. And here's another predator of damsel and dragonfly nymphs. It's a diving beetle larva of some description. Not sure what species. Right, well, we've still not found any dragon or damselfly nymphs, but I thought I'd show you some other cool things we've found. Uh, you can just about see uh, a wiggly thing there. They're mosquito larva, which you might find in a bucket of water found left in your garden or somewhere. All these little things whizzing around, those ostracods I mentioned a minute ago. Also got, hopefully it's staying in focus, um, 
not that bit there, but you see a twig here, it's actually a case of a caddish fly. If I hold it still, you might just be able to see a caddish fly poking its head up. Yeah, there's lots of things in there. Frustratingly, no dragon or damselflies there. Now we can see another caddis swimming across, or walking across there, I should say. And I'll just scoop out the dumbbell lava so you can have a closer look. So there he is. And that's not a great diamond beetle, that's half the size of a full grown great diamond beetle larva. So it's probably something like Colombetes, which is a smaller diamond beetle. Of course, my Latin pronunciation is not brilliant, so do bear that in mind if you're looking that up. Yeah, I'm going to have one more dip here and then I think I'll uh, move on to the next site. Well, I've had no joy finding any nymphs in the temporary ponds and ditches, so I've come to the more permanent ditches and ponds which are in this area of the reserve. So let's have a look and see if we can find any hawkers or anything like that. Well, it's fair to say that was a lot more productive than the other sites we've looked at today. Let's have a look at what we found. So we've got lots of water boatmen, less water boatmen that is. So loads of around here as well. We've also got a fish. Now I'm pretty sure that's a nine-spined stickleback. Let's have a close look. Yeah, nine-spined stickleback, our smallest freshwater species. But most excitingly of all, somewhere in here is oh, it's a freshwater shrimp. Oh, and there's a great water boatman as well swimming around here, evading my spoon. There he is. So it's the greatest, or oh, back swimmer as I like to call them. But look, here we go. A damselfly nymph, my first odonata, or dragonfly or damselfly, for those who don't know, odonata is the scientific term for both of those. And I'm not entirely sure what species it is. I guess the common blue, is there a blue or a blue tailed, I'd say. But there's also a larger one in here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. That's a decent sized one. Now I thought this was a large red damselfly, but I don't believe it is now. I'll have to get my book out and find out what it is. But yeah, mission accomplished. I found some Odonata. It's fair to say that was a successful trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be doing some more. I've got one planned where I'll go through the equipment and books and stuff I'll be using and tell you a bit more about my plans. So uh, see you in the next one.